want to tell the of Lagos that the Igbos cannot be intimidated by the threat. The Igbos will no longer stand for any kind of oppression and intimidation in Nigeria. There will be no more oppression of the Igbos in Nigeria. We are part of Nigerians and we will vote whoever we want to reach the vote. It is one country for all of us. I am a nurse, I'm supposed to be a woman. I like to work from a support. This is an important part. And you say no capital note tribalism, capital note oppression. We should be allowed to vote for all citizens of this country. It should be a free and fair ground for everybody to vote wherever they are. that uh, the Igbos in Nigeria has in so many ways been marginalized in the past. Up to the extent these days we have been threatened, our lives have been threatened, and uh, for anybody to begin to intimidate us by telling us they're going to kill us, he should know that he's responsible for whatever that happens after this incident. And we are saying that nobody in the world can intimidate the Igbos. We say no to your operation. You are a traditional ruler. You are not a politician. So the evils in Canada, especially, are telling you to to focus on your traditional ruling and stay away from politics. Jonathan has already set the pace for peace. So we encourage peace. Thank you. person in Lagos is maltreated or if anybody dies after the elections on Saturday we are holding him 100% responsible. We are holding him responsible for the loss of any Igbo life in Lagos, Nigeria. And we say no to intimidation of any Igbo person, be it in Lagos, be it in Nigeria or anywhere. We are Nigerians and we remain Nigerians.